Hey guys, we are back with some more New Jersey Devils franchise mode, and uh, I have a trade to make, and <laughs> let's do that right now. Not going to waste any time, because uh, it's it's a pretty big one here. We're going to be trading to Dallas, and as you can see the trade block, they want to give up Thomas Tatar, and he's who we're going to be getting. He's on a one-year deal, uh, about $5 million per year, only one year obviously, 87 overall. So uh, he's still he's still getting it done there, and let's actually check him. So there you go. He's pretty good. <laughs> so we're gonna add him to this trade as well as a second round pick. And I think we might be even able to get a little more out of this. So we'll try getting a third as well. And going back the other way, gonna be a second. A couple prospects in. Pete and LaCosta, yeah, I know, boys, whatever. Going for the cup. <laughs> and also Michael Mersch. He is 84 overall, 33. He's got two years left on his deal. And uh, what we're going to be doing here with Tatar is, of course, <laughs> retaining 50% of his salary, which I, as you guys know, love doing. And so another reason, besides an upgrade from Tatar that I'm, or uh, besides, another reason I'm trading for Tatar that I'm trading away Mersh, um, is that Rasmus Dahlin actually apparently does not like Michael Mersh, and I don't know if that has anything that, to, to, that affects the simulation, but I'm not taking any chances. We've gone through way too many, um, failure years. So I'd rather just get the toxin out of here. And Dallin is the only player on our team that does not like someone. And that only person that he does not like is Mersh. So Mersh is expendable at this point. So there you go. Rejected. Okay, so I thought I might have been able to get a third out of that. But apparently not. Let's try for a fourth. There you, let's see. There you go. Okay, so they accepted our trade. And now look at our roster, boys. <laughs> Let's edit our lines and see who we have. So, I mean, obviously, you you all know who we have. But let's see how much better this lineup looks with Tatar in there on the third line. I mean, that's dirty. Oh, and I'm also going to be changing Valeno to a center because apparently Wenberg hasn't been one of those faceoffs, which I can't check from here. But I, I after I... End of the last episode, I checked, and his face-off percentage was like 45 or something like that, and Valeno's was like 57 whenever he was taking face off. so I'm going to put Valeno in the middle, and yeah, so uh, that'll be that. And then is there any special teams changes that I need to make? Not necessarily, I don't think so. We will leave that for now. I will put Valeno in the middle here. And I think instead of Henrique, I'm going to put Tatar just so he could get some time, some extra time there on the four on four. And then Patrick, Henrique, Wenberg. I'm going to take Wenberg off here. I'm going to put Valeno. And there you go. Henrique right there. That looks good. Extra attacker, Patrick and Valeno. Shootout looks like that. Yeah, okay. So I think we're good. And let's continue with the simulation. I may or may not go past the trade deadline. I don't know. It depends. But, I mean, we're scoring goals, actually. we I checked at the end of the episode as well. We have a three goals per, four per game. It's just uh, we were a bit unlucky there, I think, in that stretch. And I think this trade for Tomas Tatar was a very good one and will help us uh, a good amount. So... We're going to continue the simulation now, and if we can keep winning, then I have no problem going past the trade deadline, but we'll take it a couple weeks at a time here. Go to the 15th. A lot of games against Philly here in this stretch. And we start out <laughs> with a 3-1 loss. Not good. All right, let's see. Washington, New York. 5 nothing win. Way to answer back, and then a 4-3 to shootout win against the Islanders. And then a 4-3 to three loss against Florida. So it's good to know that we haven't solved that issue yet. But hopefully we can go a 2-1 to win-loss ratio here. There you go. That's, that's 
good way to start out. Four and two on the month so far. And those past two games, we scored six goals each. So we'll keep going. And if we can win, I'd say, four out of the six of these next games, then I'd be okay with going past the trade deadline in this video. And let's see. Crooks and a third for all. Nope. Don't need that. Already made a trade in this video. <laughs> and I don't think I would want that trade anyway. So there's two wins right there. A game against Winnipeg. Uh, amateur scout. Okay. Yeah, whatever. I <laughs> sent you out to America for six weeks. And there you go. 6-3 win. So I'm... For the most part, I'm liking the way this team's going. I'm liking the way this team's going. Let's just wait for the simulation f f <laughs> to finish first. New York, was that a win? I didn't even see. Uh, two to one loss. Okay, so we'll simulate one more game against Philly. And... Oh, why can't... I, I, I can't... I can't simulate. <laughs> okay, got to back out. And then go back in. So it looks like we're in the playoffs for sure at this point. As long as we don't drop the ball. And let's see. Nope. This is not the loss. Ah. All right, so uh, this might be a short video, boys, because I don't know. Yeah, we went three, three and three in that last stretch and then four and two. So we won a bit more than we lost in this month, but <sighs> um, I don't know. It's a, it just feels a bit shaky, you know? Let's see how everyone's doing. Balsers with 58 points in 60 games. Tatar with 50. I believe he had, uh, I want to say, 43. So seven points so far for us. And uh, he's got a plus minus of eight. And yes, shooting percentage of 20.6 on 126 shots. And uh, let's see. Does does anyone uh, <laughs> does anyone hate Tatar now? Like if we go to if we go to Dolan. No, okay, good. So hopefully this this team is enough, boys, because I really don't know what else to do. <laughs> I mean, it seems like we have done everything possible to help this team. So Corpus Allah, let's see. Uh, not the greatest. 908. I wish that would be a bit better, but as long as he gets it done in the playoffs, I'm okay. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I, I don't really have too much else to say, boys. At this point, we just got to roll with it. DeBrus with 25 goals. That's nice. Uh, Tatar with 26. Hall with 25. So he's getting the points. So, not really much I can say. Let's check the defense. See how many points. That, yeah, they're scoring. They're scoring. That's good. It's th those those pickups of Klingberg and Bean were critical. Critical. Uh, 42 and 32 points. So, yeah. I mean, that that's honestly... That's better than Petrangelo would have scored with his old defensive core there. So, I like those two pickups right there. And let's see forwards i mean yeah everyone's doing their job i mean the, the least amount of points ever someone's getting is lindholm with with 21 in, in 60 games so got a lot of depth scoring got defenseman scoring i wish our goaltenders were doing a bit specifically corpus Allo, but you know what again we're winning games for the most part so i can't really complain and even if Corpus Allo struggles, I can always put Blackwood in there for the playoffs if need be because he's been he's always been solid for the most part. I think besides like one or two years that he struggled a little bit, but even then he came back strong during the playoffs. So yeah, this might be a very short video, guys, because I want you guys to chime in because yeah, it's the last year and I don't want to blow this. So, yeah, I'm going to end it right here. Uh, did I did I check the team stats? I don't think I did. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll check the team stats and then I'll end it off. Because, yeah, I just, I need your guys' opinions. Because we need it this year. So, yeah, we're scoring goals, 3.08. And, uh, I mean, eh, goals against per game, not exactly where I'd like it to be. But we're second in the division, 2.6. And then the power play, that's much better. 19.4. If you remember, it was down at like 14 before. And then penalty kill. Ugh. 
76. What got what's gotten into that? I mean, I I guess 76 is like the norm for this game because <laughs> the second uh, second place is Columbus with 80.2, but I don't know. We might want to change the penalty kill a little bit. But, I mean, other than that, and even the penalty kill, like, we're third in our division. We're, we're, it's almost, as long as we don't drop the ball at this point, we should be in the playoffs. So, I don't know if I want to change anything. I mean, the Columbus Blue Jackets certainly are very good. So, if we go up against them in the playoffs, we're going to have a heck of a time. But, you guys need to let me know what we should do. I'll show you guys the lines one more time. And, uh. I'll show you guys each of the individual players so you can look at their attributes and, you know, pause the video, obviously, because I'm going to go through this rather quickly. So if you see a player who, you know, doesn't exactly look great, look the greatest, then let me know in the comments because uh, we need to sort whatever this is out and uh, we need that Stanley Cup this year. And well, here's the defense. Rasmus Dahlin, Klingberg, Juleson. Yeah, I'm going through this fast here, boys. Just pause on any uh, any person you need to. And then goaltenders, obviously. Corpusalo, Blackwood. And then we'll, we'll see the player stats one more time. Just so you guys can pause on it if you need to. So, again, a very short video here, boys. But we need to win this year. <laughs> what can I say? So... Yeah, Balsers, Tatar, Patrick, Hall, Valeno, all that. Again, pause when you need to. And we'll actually go into the advanced stats here just to, just so you guys can see. So shooting percentage, shots, power play goals, all that stuff. And uh, yeah, there you go. We'll go down here. Again, pause if you need to. And then we'll check this last page I believe of advanced stats so yeah there you go there you go this team's got to be perfect boys <laughs> any changes let me know uh, let's see minister that doesn't matter okay so yep that'll be about it for this one boys and I'll see you guys in the next one when we finish off year number 10 in the regular season and then hopefully move on to the playoffs let's go